Hello, this is Dominating Drew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mine bitcoins with your computer while it's not being used. Now, I'm assuming since you came here to learn how to mine bitcoins, you actually you know a little about the background of bitcoin. But if you're still a little confused, I'll try to give a quick explanation. Bitcoin is essentially just an online peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency. It's completely anonymous because you can just make a new address and no one knows who that address belongs to, but you can actually track specific bitcoin addresses. When you get your Bitcoin address, you can send or receive Bitcoins with it. Now, it's peer-to-peer, -peer, which means there's no central Bitcoin server, which is another reason a lot of people like using Bitcoins. There's a lot of questions about Bitcoin's future, and if it is a future of currency, but anyway, it's still cool to be part of Bitcoin right now and mining it. And you can actually run a hashing algorithm on your computer in exchange for Bitcoins. The faster you mine, the faster you get Bitcoins. Now, mining... Running this hashing algorithm on your computer's graphics card is probably just a waste of power right now because there's ASIC miners or computers that are specifically built for just mining bitcoins or other coins. But bitcoin uses SHA-256. Now this hashing algorithm is very susceptible to ASICs, which means that once they were created, it was pretty much useless mining bitcoins on your own computer. There are, however, other coins that use script, like Litecoin. And those, people are wor still working on ASICs for them, but they won't be nearly as fast as they are compared to graphics cards for Bitcoin. And it's still pretty profitable to mine script coins. I'm going to be showing you a service that automatically mines the most profitable coins, such as Litecoin or Dogecoin or whatever new coins there are to mine. And then it converts them into Bitcoins and pays you in Bitcoins. So you can completely automatically mine just when your computer's idle and then get paid in bitcoins. So you don't even have to be paying attention to which coins are most profitable at the moment and just get paid in bitcoins. Now, if you don't already have it, you're going to need a bitcoin wallet right here. Just go to bitcoin.org and it's a pretty good website. It gives a pretty good explanation of what bitcoin is, probably much better than the one I just gave. So there's a big video here that you can watch but if you just want the wallet you can download a wallet now the bitcoin core wallet this has to download the blockchain so it actually takes a pretty long time to get set up but you can still get your bitcoin address and use it to mine or to get bitcoin sent to yourself to mine once you've downloaded the bitcoin core i have it right here you can just go to receive and you can make a new address and then copy it or whatever and then, next you're going to need the mining software. Now for the mining software, I'm going to be using CG Miner. You can just Google CG Miner. I'll link, leave a link to the GitHub page in the description. So just scroll down past this and then go to Downloads. Now, you're going to have to download the version 2.9. I think there is a way to get newer versions on CG Miner, but you probably don't really care about getting a new version unless you really want to. Then you can google that or something now just download the zip or 7z or whatever you want it shouldn't take too long to download just open this i have it in the other monitor so i'm just going to drag it to my desktop you could probably drag it somewhere more organized if you're going to actually be doing this not just doing a tutorial now you're also going to need cg watcher now you can run CG Miner by itself in the command line, but CG Watcher gives a nice GUI and it also allows you to have special conditions for it to run and stop running, such as letting your computer be idle and stuff like that. So just go here to the official website. You should just be able to scroll down and download it. Download. Now this doesn't actually come with the folder in the zip file, so just make a new folder and drop it in there. Then, once it extracted, open CG Watcher. Now you're going to need to do some stuff to this before you can just start mining. Um, let it load the main window. Say yes when it asks you this, unless you want to look around for it. So it gives a pretty nice view. It tells you how fast you're mining your total mining hash rate. You can stop it. It gives you a bunch of statistics here. 
It's probably just slow because I'm recording and I have tons of stuff open. I'm using like 15 gigabytes of RAM, 14 gigabytes of swap right now. Anyway, you don't have to join this unless you want to. And then this should open. You can just name it default or whatever you want. You're going to have to specify your path to the miner. So now just go to wherever you left it. I left it in the desktop. And just select cgminer.exe. Now you don't need a config file. I don't think you need to select a coin either. Now for the minor arguments, I'm going to show you my arguments right here. Um, I haven't pasted, or on my clipboard, I'll paste it there. So now I'll just leave this in the description. You can change all the settings you want. So script just specifies it's a script hashing algorithm. The user, if you, I'm going to be using middle coin. There's debate about which is the best um, variable coin mining pool. I like to use middle coin though it's pretty simple. Some people don't like to use it and there's other ones that are pretty popular too. You can use whatever you want but if you want to just easily do this just copy this and change the user from my Bitcoin address to the one that you found in your client here. Just go to receive new address and then you can copy it just right click copy address. But you're completely welcome to to mine for me if you want to just mine for some reason. Anyway, the password can be whatever you want. Here's the address to whatever mining pool you're doing. Most mining pools you have to make an account with Middlecoin though you just have to put in your username as your Bitcoin address and they'll pay you. Now here's your GPU arguments. Intensity and thread concurrency are probably the most important ones. Intensity goes up to 20. Generally the, fast, the better, the higher the intensity is the faster it will mine, but that's not always the case. 20 will probably make your computer unusable. 13 is what I have it at right now. I find that works pretty well for my particular graphics card. Just Google whatever settings you want for your graphics card. Or just Google your graphics card script mining, and it will usually tell you what's best. So you're probably going to, you might change in intensity and thread concurrency. That I have it on a balance between performance and not crashing my computer. I, it hasn't crashed ever on these settings, I don't think. If you want to mine a lot faster and risk crashing, that's also, you could put it up to 18 or something and double the concurrency. Anyway, so just save these settings. It should be good. Close. Now start mining and see if it works. It should open this and you can also play around with the settings in this you can monitor your devices it's starting right now and then you can look at all the pools you're in and you can also make it so it doesn't show the command line um, and now it's mining probably not very fast because it takes a while to get going fast anyway you, the schedule is the important part too I'm gonna just stop it right now so I can show you the settings anyway I'm gonna make it so it automatically stop starts mining when you you leave your computer idle and stops when you come back to it so anyway, just go to schedule, add new schedule action, start mining. When computer is idle for at least, and you can make it just 15 minutes or whatever, or 10. It really just depends on personal preferences. Save, and then stop mining when computer is um, not idle. Save, and now it should automate, make sure you just save that and then it should automatically mine when you're not using your computer and stop mining when you come back to your computer and then there's also more settings you can just play around with these you can hide the command line if you don't like it but you're it's idle anyway so it doesn't really matter anyway hopefully you found this video informative or actually one last thing Make sure to minimize it, don't close it, or it will close it, and it goes to the system tray. 
he just minimize it. it or it should anyway if you want to make it automatically start I think there's a setting for it or you can just like I've done before right click send to desktop create shortcut then drag that shortcut into your startup folder right here open and just drag it into there like I did with my other real CD watcher anyway hopefully you found this video informative and you can start Bitcoin mining or not really Bitcoin mining but mining other coins getting paid in bitcoins and hopefully you can subscribe if you enjoyed this video thank you for watching